I cannot tell you my name or where I live, but I know that sharing my story has a meaning. I have been shamed, embarrassed and at times stigmatized. Even today, years later, I feel retribution, liability and even prosecution. Some of this might have been deserved at one time, but today my story is one of success. The first time I smoked weed was during the summer before 8th grade. I was really curious to see what it was all about. I had a few hits, but didn't really get stoned. Later, I smoked some more. I got so high I didn't even know what was going on. Finally, I got caught at school and I was kicked out for a year. My parents decided to put me in a chemical dependency program. I'm taking my 30-day trip today and I hope to get many more. By staying sober, I'm getting my life back. I was rejecting heroin and cocaine up to six times a day since I was 17 years old. It seems like one is too many and a thousand is never enough. I felt like I lost control over my body and mind day by day. I knew my addiction could kill me. I decided to ask for help and I'm in the way of recovery. Yes, I wanted drugs, but I realized that I could want life more. In my hometown there were 12 drug related deaths in 4 months and one of these was my best friend. At 14, I was selected to play on my school soccer team. With time, I became addicted to powerful painkiller opiates prescribed to me after an injury. When my doctor stopped prescribing them, I looked for the pills elsewhere by raiding my family medicine cabinet for any pills to get high. Eventually, I asked for help and enrolled in a treatment program. I quickly fell into bad habits again. I overdosed using alcohol, morphine and cocaine. I was 17 years old when I died. We share these intimate tales so that you, our colleagues and friends, could hear the human side of addictive diseases, learn to recognize the signs and take action to prevent such adversities before it's too late.